How's it going today guys? Today we're going to be talking about the Halo radars and we're going to be talking about weather and bird mode in particular. Uh, I just want to say uh, and as when I go to talk about bird mode, the birds for some reason just when I'm filming the video they don't want to show up so for a little bit of the time I'm just sitting there explaining things trying to stall off to see if I can get some birds to come by and there's one sitting on a piling that unfortunately the radar can't read because it reads it as the piling uh, and then there's a few other little birds that you see scattered towards the end of the video that will pop up briefly on the radar uh, typically just for you guys to know birds will either pop up as like little yellow dots or like little blue marks uh, here's a picture of it right here and uh, you see the little blue dot right there that's that's what a bird would look like uh, I'll also show this image later on in the video when I get to talking about bird mode but remember yellow or blue dots if you can't uh, really tell from the video because I was not able to see a lot of birds while filming the video at that particular time And also guys if you have any questions feel free to comment down below and be sure to leave a like for me on this video And to subscribe and hit the notification bell that when I see any future videos and be sure to use code David at checkout at dvmarinesupplies.com That way you get $10 off your order $150 or more and uh, Be sure to take advantage of that guys. So thanks for watching guys, and I hope you enjoy the video Weather. So weather is going to be more for precipitation. As you can see, like things that are turning blue are going to be more like clouds. Like so, this is going to really depend on how thick the storms are and the uh, like what's in the air. Like if there's like fog or something like that, guys. So um, it'll be different colors and depending on how you have this set. So like with the rain, I'll show you guys. If I raise this, you see less clutter. Like with everything, but if I lower it, you see more. And this is more for rain. So like, there's some clouds um, behind me. Just some scattered clouds. So that's gonna be the little blue marks. So if we take this and zoom this out, let's see if we can see something else. So let's see. I don't really see any clouds around me, guys. Let me see if I can get away with a couple miles. And as you see, guys, I can't see everything through it. The beam is going to be higher off the water for this. I can always see boats on here because uh, the boats that you see triangles are boats that are registered vessels. So they're going to have like a location on this. So you're always going to be able to pick them up no matter how many miles away you are. So that's, even at 48 miles, you see, I can see this boat. Uh, triangles, I believe the triangles without the cross through it are just regular boats and they don't have, um, and they're in motion. But I think when they have the X in them, it means they're like they're anchored or something like that. So let's just click on this and see what it says. Uh, abundance. And then normally the more accurate ones, when you see the status where it says safe, those are more accurate because those are more, going to be more like your ships and stuff like that. Uh, beam, 951 feet. Length, 610 feet. So as I mentioned, it's a ship, guys. Uh, it shows its destination, its location, everything. So we see that there's a ship there. And then as we zoom it in, let's see if we see anything else. So this is at 12 miles. Uh, I don't know if this is right, but this is showing like there's some, some clouds there. But actually, I don't think that's clouds. I think that is going to be part of uh, where my region is, where it like bends up. So I think that's part of, that actually is probably the shore. It's not a cloudy day, guys, which is nice for me. But bad for this video because you can't really see the rain that well. But you'll be able to tell it's rain when you get to use this and you... Play with this a little bit and a lot of this guys is really just playing with it so let's clear the cursor let's go back to quarter mile and then let's change to bird mode so guys bird mode is different so birds are you're gonna the birds you're gonna want to see are gonna pop up and they're gonna come off because you're gonna be looking for birds diving you're not gonna really be looking for birds that are just flying across the sky and stuff like that yeah frigates yes but like when you want to see like birds diving like seagulls and stuff like that you're gonna be seeing uh, then pop on and off the screen. So I don't see any birds within a quarter mile of me um, But for me birds normally pop up as like a yellow color So maybe as this video goes on and I try to talk a little bit longer Maybe a bird will pop up and I can show you guys on it But birds typically appear as like a little yellow mark for me And 
I don't see birds really up more than two miles away. And guys, don't if you guys don't think that you're just gonna be able to see all the birds in the world on it, um, you're not gonna be able to see all the birds in the world because the best range you can get on this is two miles if you really fine tune it. Right now it's not really fine tuned because uh, I've just played with the settings a little bit. Those are just like basic navigational settings I keep as I uh, like to look for birds because there's smaller marks. I want to see more area, like more cluster and stuff like that. I like to lower it so I can see it, so I can see, so I can see the uh, birds easier because it'll appear on the screen better. So normally there are little yellow marks. So let's see if I can pick up any birds. So let's see, see clutter. Let's put that up and down. Let's adjust the gain. So the gain is the only one where it starts to show less, but as you raise it up, you'll start to see more. So let's see, um, is there any birds around? I don't see any birds, um, but like, let's see another thing for example, uh, let's see, the, there's this sign right there, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's that sign, let's see if we can pick that up. So let's go down to here. And then we can see roughly a quarter mile away because I have to gain way up. Uh, let's put it at 33. That sign is right there. And that is where that sign is. So we can see the sign. I still don't see any birds in the sky when I'm looking around. But birds, normally for me guys, I'm sure it's going to be the same for most of you guys. It's going to be a little yellow mark. And that's all you're going to see is a little, little, little yellow dot. And that's going to be a bird. And that's how you're going to be able to tell. If you see a bunch of little yellow marks, that's typically going to be a bird. Uh, maybe if I can do this. I don't see any birds at all, but most of the birds you can be able to see, guys. You can be able to see with your eyes and with a good pair of binoculars. So you're not going to really... The radar is nice for when you're cruising and stuff like that. So you can see stuff, but it's not going to be any like serious big game changer. Uh, like to hype it up to be. Even though it is a very nice feature. Because sometimes you can't spot out birds you normally don't see. So... This unit, guys, is the Evo 3S, the new Evo 3S, and uh, I'm also going to leave those linked down in the description, as well as the radars, and uh, actually, let's see a bird right here, so let's zoom this in, so I can show you guys, and then that bird is, where is it, that bird is sitting on that sign right now, of course, uh, let's see if he gets off of it in a second, so the bird is right here, guys, on the sign, but once he gets off, I'll be able to show you guys where he's at. So we'll probably have to increase the gain a little bit. He's still sitting on that sign, so let's see if he gets off in a second. And I'll be able to show you guys what a bird looks like actively live on the Simrad Halo 24 radar. This appear this also appears the same for the Halo 20 Plus, and I will as well as I believe the uh, Halo 20. So let's see, I'm just waiting for this bird to get off the sign. It might be a few more seconds, but let's see. Um, I shouldn't even have to really look up because I'll be able to see it on the radar right here. The bird is sitting on this sign right here. And um, we should be able to see it in a second, guys. So it's really just a little bit of a wait right now. It's a pelican, so it's a nice large bird. So it should be able to pick it up relatively easy without any real issue. Um... Let's see, there's probably some other birds around too, just looking around. But, um, while we wait for that bird, guys, let me explain some more things to you guys. So, this menu bar, you have lots of different options. You can have guard zones, which, uh, don't use unless you really know what you're doing. Um, what this is gonna do is it's gonna affect how you see, like, things. Like, it's gonna have, like, if you have, like, a boat or a vessel, something like that. Mainly registered vessels coming in towards you. Um, it's gonna like send you an alert on your it's gonna pop up as an alert like oh vessel within X number of distance away so like uh, Unknown vessel or something like that quarter mile away. So I don't really like guard zones guys uh, Don't really use it also there's the sensitivity which affects like how much of like a, the touching it of the radar How sensitive it is to your fingers touching it 75% the default I find is uh, plenty enough for me and then uh, there's this, I'm not quite sure what this is, but the view, as I mentioned, the palette, that you see is different. Uh, position center is just mainly like, so like, you can like see things, like a look ahead is like to see like what's in front of you. So like if you want to look out 
and see um, so like let's say we're right here where this little dot is if you want to look out and see what's in front of you like another quarter mile uh, that's what look ahead is offset uh, I don't really like offset but like it offsets it and you can like adjust this to be offset don't use offset guys I really don't really recommend it you have to save it um, you see standby and it's just gonna affect how the uh, radar is affecting so take a second to load um, also guys this applies the same for the halo three three four and six radars um, I don't really like it let's go back to view position and then true motion um, under heading up mode so right now I have it under heading up mode so that I have to change that and go back to center and then true motion uh, I've never used true motion before but I'm just trying to play with it so true motion is like for when you're on offset um, I don't really like offset but that's gonna show you like motion like the actual motion of objects um, I don't recommend using it I don't really know anybody that uses it I don't know a lot about it so I can't really recommend or not recommend anything um, of course, that pelican is still sitting on that sign right over there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but pelican is just sitting there. It's almost like he's waiting for me just to press off on the video and leave. So we have that there. Um, we discussed all this stuff. Um, is there anything else under adjust? No, also guys, you don't have to just press those icons. You can uh, adjust the stuff from right here so you can increase that. I'm actually going to increase things back to the default I see some birds right here so let me just lower this a little bit uh, let's go to gain increase that where's those birds okay also guys I want to let you know that there's gonna be the 20 foot a relatively 20 foot dead zone for your boat so you, uh, let's see if we can pick up those birds they're seagulls so they're small birds uh, just the gain, increase that, probably about 65, 75, and then, let's see, where did they go? Of course, they've landed back on the water. Uh, let's zoom this out again, I see another little group of birds. So right now, you, as you can see, the gain is too much to see birds, because you see too much blue clutter. So let's, what we need to do now is we need to just decrease this. And it's really going to depend on the situation, so let's decrease this and get this, some of this clutter out. Also, oops. Now we just need to wait and see if we see the bird pop back up. Um, but anyways guys, so it looks like the birds are not moving anymore. Of course, when we need them to move, they don't want to move. And uh, so thanks for watching today's video guys. I will try to get some active footage on birds. Uh, sometime soon in the future and if you guys have any questions feel free to comment down below i'd be happy to answer them um and let me know if there's anything else i can do for you guys make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell that way you don't miss any future videos make sure you use code david at check out dbrinspies.com that way save ten dollars off any order 150 dollars or more and be sure to subscribe and like the video and press the like button that way you guys don't miss any future videos and um thanks for watching today's video guys and oh, there's the bird it popped off but as you saw, it was a little yellow mark right there. Uh, here's a school of birds going right in front of me. They're too close. They're my... So you see, that was a little bird. Let me increase the gain. And the sea clutter. Oh, bird mode is low too. Brain clutter. Then let's increase, let's decrease this. And then bird. There's the bird right there. It's just, it has a little bit of yellow and a little bit of darkness in it just because I have the um, gain all the way up so much. But if I decrease this list a little bit, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. There's the bird right there in the yellow. He dove down in the water. And then he's sitting there, looks like. So typically, you're going to see as little yellow marks on your screen, guys, um, for birds. So just keep an eye out for that. And also, guys, the best way to do it is to sit at your dock and play with the screen uh, like I'm doing right now. Different places, it affects it differently. When I was offshore the other day, I had it set to 65. And I had my clutter at 33. And then my rain all the way down to zero. 
and I was able to see pretty well uh, the birds and they were appearing as little, little yellow marked. The different areas are also going to be affected also believe because of the beam of the radar. So keep that into consideration when you guys are running out and just play with it guys. I mean different places are going to work differently also depending on uh, if it's raining or if it's not because of the clutter in the air. So it's really you guys just an experiment. Uh, when you see people on TV talking about it or on YouTube saying oh it works so great all that. Um, they're trying to hype it up to keep that in mind guys. And they have learned to fine tune their radar. So really a lot of it guys is just learning it like through watching this video and watching other future videos of mine and past videos of your radar and also just comes to playing with it a little bit yourself guys. So if I never played with this radar I never would have been as good with it. So different situations are going to be affecting it differently. Um, that's the first time I've used bird mode in this area. So obviously it's not working as well for me but if I'm sure if I were to play with it another 10-15 minutes you guys would be able to find it out. So it's really just about learning to fine tune your radar and get really good with it guys. So Thanks for watching today's video guys and until next time.